There she is. Nice and gnarly. You think you know me? I wish I did too. What's up guys, Sam here, do it for the kit. Uh, right now I'm driving on my way to Mammoth Mountain to do some snowboarding and a little car camping. As you can see, I got the car freaking decked out, ready to go. Um, sleeping bag, extra blanket, pillow. Um, but yeah, man, I woke up this morning and was feeling a little bit bored, so I kind of made an impulsive decision and decided to make the five hour drive to Mammoth. Uh, I wanted to go snowboarding, there's not really anything nothing really good right now in LA area so but Mammoth it's dumping and I've never been there before um, I've heard incredible things about the mountain so you know just 20 minutes you know about an hour ago I thought maybe I'll go to Mammoth and here I am on the road so really kind of crazy um, good feels good to make a just kind of act on a decision like that um, gives you a little bit of a rush you know to just be like you know this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it um, but yeah, I'm excited to share the journey with you guys. myself you know it's been the easiest three hours I've ever driven so far so knock on wood but uh, having a good time first sight of snow up there about 20 minutes away uh, maybe 30 minutes tops um, but just listening to Dan Carlin's Hardcore History podcast incredible podcast the way he describes history so shout out to him so we're at the clock tower I think I think we're up to code in the car <laughs> All right, guys, made it into Mammoth. Um, stopped and had some pizza, met some friends, Rob and Kim, shout out. Um, but yeah, here I am in my car, right next to the freaking chairlift. Uh, I'll show you in the morning, but just literally in the parking lot. So hopefully that goes okay. Hopefully I don't get interrupted, but here I am in the car. <coughs> um, you know, got the seats down in the back seat. Sleeping pad. You know, nothing crazy. Not a crazy amount of room, but my sleeping bag. But uh, saved me a hundred bucks or so for not having to get in a, a hotel. And I should stay warm, so this is my setup. Just a fully dressed for tomorrow already, pretty much. Sleeping bag, ready to go. Have a good night, you guys. All right, guys, I'm here. Super tired, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Um, I think if I did it again, I could get some sleep. I just had to get comfortable. See, I have this I have this gap right here. And I had to use my pillow as like a bridge and scoot my seats all the way forward. It's actually pretty comfortable once I did that. But uh, about to get ready and hit it. So, woo! Gotta wake up, baby.
kidding me? Best conditions I've ever done in my life. Good morning, everybody. So, let me just say, what a day. I mean, I've done one lift so far. Powder was just everywhere. The groomed runs are just powder. Everything's powder. But, uh, beautiful up here, man. You know, up here on Mammoth Mountain, baby, getting it. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna do a couple of lifts. I had so much fun the first one, and then I'm gonna get a little coffee, do a little, you know, a little bathroom duties, brush my teeth, whatever. But, uh, man, I'm just grateful to be up here. guys so heading back out to the mountain um, you know this wouldn't be do it for the kid if we didn't get a fresh wax on the board and if we weren't demoing some new boots so these are the freaking k2 darkos um, giving them a demo my old boots were super just terrible honestly excited to get back out there uh, fresh wax fresh boots um, stoked So I'm gonna show you how to chill in your car in between runs if you wanna like, you know, grab some food or whatever and your car camping. So So here's the deal. You freaking hang your legs out the side like that. And then just close this over you. Like that. No snow getting in. Because it's snowing right now, so you'll get your car wet if you don't do that tactic. Other than that, or you gotta take everything off. So, I'm trying to keep my home dry. It's 1.30 now, so, I don't know, I've been out here a while since like 8.30, but uh, I'm really trying to get motivated to like finish the process, like my snowboard's not even in yet, like I have to clear off all the windows and stuff, oh my gosh, I'm just dead right now. This is like the best part to change back into clothes and stuff, but the real best part is when you get home and you throw everything in the wash and just freaking crash on the couch and that's a ways away from me but uh awesome day 
good time, but yeah, I'm wiped and I really need somebody to help me just live my life right now. <laughs> hey you guys, leave a mammoth. that five hours or so fly by.